I've tried hundreds of hair tools in the last five years and these are my top 10 all-time favorite hair tools that I have tried on my curly hair. Let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna start with the most affordable one out of the group and I really do feel like this hair tool is good and even the original Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Vitamizer. Even the original is not a bad hair tool and I feel like it was a game changer for so many people. It really changed the way that I started doing my own hair and it was just a way easier way for me to do my hair at home. Like way easier way for me to do my own hair at home. But because Revlon came out with a new and improved Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer, the Revlon Plus, I definitely like this one more than the original. The original will always have a special place in my heart, but this plus is a lot better in my opinion. This round brush is actually smaller and I like it more. It is detachable as well so you're able to use other attachments. You're able to store it a lot easier now. If you wanted to take it with you whenever you travel you can take this off. It's easier to store and put in your luggage and it also has a medium heat setting which is so so nice the revlon original only has the high heat setting that's the only heat setting that i really could use to dry my hair the other ones were way too low like it was just like low and high pretty much but this one has a medium heat setting so the medium heat setting is a lot more gentle in my opinion than the high heat setting so whenever i do use this i'll use it in the medium heat setting and i'll use a lot of heat protectant with this hair tool another thing that i see a lot of people do if you have more like wavy hair this might work a little bit better for you is using this on pretty like dry hair almost i would say about 70 percent dry hair and that way you're gonna have less breakage less damage over time i feel like if you know and learn how to use it it won't be as damaging as you think so use it in the medium heat setting use it on mostly dry hair if you can and use a lot of heat protection so the next one on my list is this hot roller set from remington i just got so impressed with this hot roller set it is so affordable it's only like 45 bucks maybe max 50 and on amazon you can almost always get it for a nice deal and you got 20 hot rollers you get pretty small sizes i would say one inch to one and a half but i absolutely love this hot roller set i actually have other ones that are way more expensive the chi the t3 micro even the babyliss they're like almost 80 bucks and i just always end up using these hot rollers from remington they just give me the better results i mean i used it today so i'll put a video up here so you guys can see me taking off the hot rollers but wow i let the hot rollers warm up for about 10 minutes and then i just added them to my hair and let them set for about 30 minutes and then this is what you get very nice and voluminous hair it looks very healthy and I just really love the volume that I'm getting with these hot rollers. And whenever I reach for hot rollers, I reach for these. These are hands down my favorite. So this is the dry bar half shot. And let me tell you, this gives you so much volume. I absolutely love using this. Um, I'm going to put a TikTok right here. I remember using this when my hair was a little bit shorter and this works super well on short hair it really does get really close to the roots it gives you a lot of volume it grabs a pretty good amount of hair as well and it does get a little bit hot it kind of gets hot like the revlon the original so i would be very careful with this one but again if you use it on like more damp hair almost dry hair this might not cause breakage or damage over time but yeah definitely be a little bit careful with this one but overall if you use heat protectant and if you don't overdo it don't use it like every single week you know like try to not overdo it with this hair tool i feel like you will get nice results and I think you're gonna love it. I really love this brush. It's so small and it's a round brush. So it gives you nice volume. It gives you some bounce at the ends. If you compare the dry bar to the Revlon, as you can see, the Revlon is more like an oval brush. And then this one is more like a round brush. So this gives you even more bounce in my opinion 
than the Revlon and I don't know I just really like the size I didn't think I was gonna like the size of this one that much because I used to like bigger round brushes but now I've been into smaller round brushes because I just feel like I'm able to dry my hair a lot better let's move on to a straightener I don't use straighteners that much but I really like this one and whenever I do reach for a straightener I tend to reach for this one the GHD max so this is a one and a half inch plate i believe as you can see it's a little bit bigger than like your regular flat irons so i like using this because most of the time when i use a straightener i just want to quickly straighten my roots straighten my hair a little bit after a blowout if i need to but i try not to use straighteners too much but if i do have to use one i'll use this one most of the time and this one from GHD is super nice because it only has one heat setting. I don't know if you can see, but it only has the power button. So you can only use this hair tool in the heat setting 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Like you can't put it too up, you can't put it lower. So if you do have fine hair, you might not like that. If you usually use like your straighteners in 300 degrees Fahrenheit, you can't do that with this. You can't put it down. But I really do feel like 365 degrees Fahrenheit is perfect for me, for my hair type. And sometimes with other hair tools, with other straighteners, I tend to go up to like 400 sometimes even 450 and I don't need that much heat so I like that this kind of controls me <laughs> but yeah I really like the GHD max if you want something a little bit smaller the GHD platinum plus is also really nice it's a one inch straightener and it works super well as well and it gives you nice bouncy curls but I just tend to use this one a little bit more the GHD max because it straightens my hair a little bit quicker let's move on to another flat iron that I really like that is actually a one inch flat iron so this one from bio ionic this is the bio ionic 10x straightener this is so good as you can see it has like this curved design that is supposed to help you get a little bit closer to the roots so i really really like that design it's super cool it also has like this vibrating feature that's supposed to help you get more shine and i really feel like this gives me a ton of shine and i also got very nice bouncy curls with this so yeah i really like this i feel like this is my favorite favorite bioionic hair tool so far but anyways this straightener is very nice and it's about the same price as the ghd so they are a little bit pricey they're about like 250 each i believe so i'll link everything down below if you guys want to check out any of these hair tools but i really do feel like they're all so worth it anyways let's move on to the next hair tool which is actually from t3 micro i feel like t3 micro has the best curling irons hands down they have amazing curling irons i really really love their curling irons this is the single pass 1.25 inch curling iron and this gives me very nice curls i like that most of the t3 micro hair tools are dual voltage so whenever i travel i'm taking a t3 micro hair tool i'm going to spain actually this weekend i leave and and I'm taking a couple of T3 micro hair tools with me because I'm able to use those hair tools in Spain, which is so nice. That's something that you cannot do with a lot of hair tools, like a lot of hair tools. You can't even do that with the Dyson hair tools. Like most of these hair tools that I mentioned in this video are not dual voltage, but most of the T3 micro hair tools are dual voltage. And that is so nice. I love that about T3 micro hair tools. I love the convertible collection because you're able to just detach the wands or curling iron and use different sizes with the same base and it has five different heat settings which is super nice my favorite size is the 1.25 inch but if you do like a tighter curl the one inch is super nice as well and i 100 percent prefer a clamp over a wand because i just got tired when my arms are like this holding the hair with one hand and then holding the hair tool with another hand i just got tired and i feel like this just makes everything easier and i'm able to grab a lot more hair with the clamp so i prefer curling irons 100% more than wands so the next hair tool that i wanted to mention is actually a blow dryer that i discovered recently and i have been using it almost every time i blow up my hair ever since and i'm talking about the babulous volare babulous has amazing hair tools they have really good quality hair tools and if you have very thick hair like me and you need something strong that's gonna really straighten your hair like make it super nice and smooth this is the hair tool for you like this is 
so strong. Apparently this has like a Ferrari designed engine so it's like very very strong. It's like something else. And it also has a turbo shot button which is so cool. That's the first time I see that. I don't really use it because it gets way too hot but instead of having a cool shot button it has the turbo shot button and it's going to basically like release extremely hot air so if you want like a boost of shine if you need a little bit more of heat i wouldn't recommend using it that much because it gets way too hot i mean if you like that go for it but for me i feel like these settings are good enough this gets hotter than the dyson supersonic than the dyson air app than the shark flex style this gets very hot so if you have very thin hair very fine hair you might not like this i have very thick curly hair so i really like hair tools that get a little bit more hot. So yeah, if you have curly hair, very thick hair, you might like this. I actually use this to blow out my hair. And that's the only hair tool that I used. I only did a blowout and then I used the hot rollers. And yeah, this is like day four hair, by the way. Another hair tool that I wanted to include in this video that I have used so much is the Dyson Air App. I've used this hair tool a lot in the last like three years. Dyson hair tools are really good for just keeping your hair nice and healthy. It doesn't really burn your hair. I would recommend the Dyson Air App if you have more like wavy hair. I don't really use the Dyson Air App to blow out my hair. It's not the best for my hair type. To me, it's just the attachment. I'm not a fan of the round brush attachment it's way too small i feel like i've said it so many times in my channel already i feel like you guys are tired of hearing that but if you're new that is why i don't use the dyson air app to blow my hair the round brush attachment is too small the paddle brush attachment isn't that great either and it's just harder to use than just using a round brush attachment for me and overall my blowout just looks a little bit frizzy whenever i use the dyson i feel like it maybe just doesn't get hot enough i don't use the dyson air app to blow my hair but i do use it to curl my hair so i really like the dyson air app for that but again like do you want to spend almost 600 dollars on a hair tool that you're only going to use for curling your hair probably not but i did want to include it in this video because i do feel like it is a very nice hair tool very good quality hair tool and it's going to keep your hair pretty nice and healthy so if you're looking for that then maybe consider the dyson air app but if you like blow jars like this and you want something that's more gentle than the baby list then get the dyson supersonic the dyson supersonic is the best dyson hair tool in my opinion hands down they just nailed it with the original dyson super sonic the og hair tool from dyson i love everything about it i really love the diffuser attachment i use it all the time it dries my curls super quickly it doesn't give me frizz i also love the size of this hair tool it's so small and it's just like easy to use i still gotta get used to the size of this one i feel like it's too big but i'm slowly getting used to it i really like this one as well but i love this size this size is just easier for me to use and i also really like this part of the hair tool believe it or not this helps a lot when you're blow drying your hair just being able to set it on the table like this makes a huge difference with this one i can't really do that and when i put it like this the air just kind of like blows it away and sometimes i drop it and yeah i love the attachments they always come out with nice attachments for this blow dryer as well really like this nozzle attachment it's nice and thin it's a nice concentrated nozzle it's going to give you very smooth results so i love using this nozzle whenever i blow my hair i would say it is probably the hair tool that i have used the most from this entire video last but not least the shark flex style really love this hair tool this hair tool is very very powerful i would say it gets even a little bit hotter than the dyson air wrap you also get these attachments the curling barrel attachments and these give you very nice blowout curls as well just like the dyson air wrap and by the way this hair tool is half the price it is about 270 and you get a lot of attachments and there's more that you can do with this hair tool than you can with the dyson air wrap so yeah i like this one way more than the dyson air wrap i also like that if you take this off and bring this down it turns into a regular blow dryer like what this is crazy and then you can also use a diffuser attachment so it's super super nice i feel like this hair tool is perfect for people with curly hair i do feel like shark could add a couple of attachments with time i know that they will probably add more attachments that you can use with this hair tool but i feel like they should really come out 
with a smaller round brush attachment i feel like this one is way too big this round brush attachment is not bad though because it does have two different types of bristles it has the plasticky bristles and then it also has the bore bristles so you are able to get like a pretty smooth blowout but yeah the shark flex style is an amazing hair tool and i feel like if they come out with different round brush attachments that would be even better like different types of round brush attachments different sizes um i think people would absolutely love that i would love that for sure i want a smaller one for my bangs or just to give myself a little bit more volume at the top so yeah if they can come out with different sizes of this that would be amazing and i feel like people would absolutely love it so these are the 10 hair tools that i have used the most in the last couple of years and i hope you guys like this video i hope it was helpful and please subscribe to my youtube channel if you're enjoying my video so far and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye